welcome back to my channel it's your girl Ms. Dixon and I am back with another video if this is your first time here thank you for stopping by if this isn't your first time here and you are a returning subscriber welcome back in today's video as you guys saw by the title I am giving Il Makaj another try first time um you know my shade I think it was 175 really wasn't feeling it um, I just felt too red and a lot of my foundations I've been feeling too red and I feel like whenever I go and get assistance with trying to find the right foundation they're either off like I either feel too orange too red um, so if anybody knows what that means definitely please help a girl out put it down in the comments but as you guys can see my skin has a lot of hyperpigmentation um, and so I like a nice full coverage when I do decide to wear makeup. And <clears throat> this is the packaging that it came in. So yeah, so this is the packaging that it came in. Sorry, I don't speak low maintenance. And let's see what we got in our box. <clears throat> so the shade that I got this time, tried the skill testing again. Um... Somebody in my last video commented, well, it was my fault. I picked a shade too dark. So I tried again. And I got woke up like this, 140. So we're going to see. And in the box, I've also got a... This is what it looks like inside. Nice, pretty box. But in the box, I've also got here a ink liner. So we've got eyeliner. And I got their foundation blending brush that's what the box looks like it's the brush okay this is the brush the hundred foundation blending all right so my face is already washed moisturized um, primed so I did double check this is a water based foundation first ingredients water so of course I went with a water primer um, this is the primer that I am currently using today okay so with that being said now let's give this a try I'm a little nervous. I feel like it went from 175 to 140. I feel like that's a big jump. Um, for those of you that have tried Il Makaj, what was your experience? Did you like it? So here's what she looks like in the box. Actually, let me get the other one so you guys can kind of see a comparison between the two. Okay. So here's the 175 and here's the one. 40. So as we can tell just by looking at it, this one is darker. It's 175. Um, let's try this out. So I'm just gonna take pump, two pumps, and I'll warm it up in the back of my hand here. All right? I don't know. Kind of nervous. Oh, and we've got two light, or maybe not. I don't know. Let's try to blend her out and see. I feel like she's too light now. And then we could go. Parker. I don't know. You look like I need a shade darker. Or maybe it is. And I just need concealer on my hyperpigmentation. To me, 
Wait, maybe this one is my color. Because I'm looking here in my mirror. I don't mind the dirty side, but I'm looking here in my mirror and I'm questioning if I'm wearing makeup or not. Hold on. Hold on. Okay, I'm gonna add a little concealer to my face, just a little. I just wanna see. Just a little concealer to some spots. But I think I may have found my foundation shade. Oh my goodness. Okay. So I had to say I felt like I was lighter than I was. I should use this brush to do my concealer, but that's okay. Okay, you know what guys? I'm gonna take some directly to the brush. Warmed up now, but let's try this again. Okay. Okay. Blind, blind, blind. I don't know. I don't know, this is so stressful. Like, finding a foundation for my color is frustrating. But, the way that I'm seeing this right now, I don't know, what do you guys think? Do I feel too pale, too white now? What do you think? All right, let me finish my makeup and we'll see if I'm feeling this. But I think, honestly, no, for real, like I'm looking in the light and this feels like it's blending in with my color. Okay, all right, I think, guys, honestly, I think that this could pass. It's obviously not heavy enough to cover all of my hyperpigmentation. I absolutely need to start off with a concealer um, or color corrector to balance it out. But if I want to wear like light makeup, I think this is probably medium coverage. But if I want to wear like a light enough base, just so you know, some of my hyperpigmentation is, you know, blended out a bit. Hmm, this might be able to pass. Got a wedding on the weekend and this may be able to work. Okay, all right, let me finish my makeup and we're gonna see if it blends in well with everything. Back. All right, guys. So honestly, <clears throat> I think this one can pass more as my color. What do you guys think? I only have mascara and my like, eyebrows done. I didn't even put on any gloss or anything. All I literally have on right now is just moisturizer primer, the foundation. Um, I feel like it's buildable, but this is like, this is two, three, 
three layers basically of me going over it so if it's medium coverage you can obviously still see my hyperpigmentation um but for just like an everyday look if i'm not trying to look like you know plastic and complete like glam then <clears throat> this could work this would be like my everyday type of foundation if i just feel like putting on a little something this would be my go-to where i'm not like you obviously know i have some imperfections on my face but it's not so blam in your face right hmm, i'm feeling it um i guess we'll look at some different uh lights what it looks like under So these are just from like my ring light. These are just the different lights I'm going through. I right, can really brighten it up. You obviously see like I'm wearing makeup, but I don't know. Hubby's not here right now and I usually ask him. And that's how I know about my foundation, if it's matching or not, he will tell me. <clears throat> and then usually just doing a couple pictures, going out in the light and the sun, it's raining right now. This weather is so crazy. So I can't really tell, but I feel like this is more my everyday color. And then, of course, if I contour or anything like that, I can build it obviously in so I can get like the different shades of light on my face. But honestly, I'm not gonna lie, I think Gail Macaj is kind of growing on me. I think they may have uh, won a second chance with me here. So if you have tried it, let me know what you think. Um, I think I may actually keep this one. I don't feel red in this one. I might feel a little pale, but I can obviously darken it a little bit with other foundation and concealer, but yeah. Anyways, guys, so thanks so much for watching. If you guys like this video, definitely please give this a thumbs up. Feel free to, you know, give me a like, comment, and definitely subscribe. And I will be back with another video. If you guys have tried Imokaj yourself, definitely please go ahead and let me know down below what shades you've tried, if you like it, if you don't. Um, also, you know, give me a heads up what could it mean if I'm saying that I'm feeling too red or orangey. Let me know in the comments below and I will be back soon. Bye guys.